uh, hi everyone uh, my name is harshal and today i'm going to analyze bank nifty on a daily chart so here i am on this website tradingview.com and this is a daily chart of bank nifty so now let me first try to draw a trend line uh, so i'll take uh, the starting point from this low and this was the trend line which was broken so now if you see whenever the trend line is uh, is broken uh, it acts as a the support uh, will be always turned as a resistance so this was the level and uh, whenever when we had a very uh, huge gap up so somewhere around here this was the exhaustion candle and it was below the trend line so that was the day when i had uh, tweeted that you know we are heading towards uh, 17200 so at that time it was somewhere around 19900 levels okay uh if i try to draw fibonacci on this daily chart then you see that you know it it reversed from this uh, 78.6 so let me draw a horizontal line somewhere around here and now it is again back to the same level so now if you see bank nifty is again at the same level this red candle low was 17143 and now we made a low of 17105 but then we closed somewhere around 17278 okay so the uh, if you are closing below this level if you are sustaining uh, above this level then i am expecting bank nifty to touch back to 18981 which is somewhere around 19001 in case in case if you are closing below this line which is 17 uh, 17143 then we are heading lower towards 16500 uh, somewhere around so now let me first get rid of all this thing and show you how we can uh, go to 16400 uh, so if i try to draw fibonacci trend extension uh from here this low and then this one right so we can make abc pattern we can make abc pattern and uh, it's a correction wave uh, sorry mm, just a moment let me select abc okay from here which is uh, 2 and 3 so we should go till 16460461642 and we can make uh, you know uh, abc pattern and from there also we can again expect a bounce we can there are also a chances that you know we can uh, uh, touch this low and we should make a kind of double bottom but then if you are sustaining this low above this line then again we can see a recovery but as of now since this was a very uh, strong resistance uh, support so i feel that bank nifty first should go and touch 19000 level once okay so in short term i am expecting if we are sustaining above 17143 level we should touch 19000 in case if we are closing below this level we should see another 600 points of fall on bank nifty we should also we can also see a uh, double bottom on uh, daily chart of bank nifty right so as of now i am just uh, keeping my wave till here uh, in case if we are closing below this level which is uh, 16121 the candle of 24th of march Uh, we are heading towards thirteen thousand. So uh, going forward, we will see. In case if we are breaking this level, I will show you how we can touch thirteen thousand. But as of now, I'll stick to only two points. One is we can go back to nineteen thousand, and the other is in case if we are closing below this level, we can go back to one six four six two. This is one. Ah, uh, let me also show you uh, what happened in past. Okay, so. If I click on boring candle, okay. Now, if you see, if I'm drawing Fibonacci uh, retracement for this, okay. So again, uh, last time also there was the same wave, which was a uh, retrace back from this 0.786. So now, if I try to draw Eloid wave one, two, three, four, five, so it will be like from one, this, two, this was the third wave, four. and this was the fifth one okay i can take this also this also anyhow it should be about 3 okay now if you see a uh, second wave a uh, second uh, wave was not going below this level so this was valid 
uh, fourth wave was not entering the area of first wave so this was valid and then we had three and five so now if i go to indicators if i go to indicators and if i try to draw rsi which is relative strength index so if you see when we made higher high when we made higher high we made lower low so there was a negative divergence on rsi and whenever you are following the uh, wave theory you need to see for the last wave which is third and fifth wave it should make a lower low and it's vice versa for the other side okay so that was again a signal that uh, it was the this was the fifth final wave okay so now again right now we are in a corrective wave so i'm expecting that one two three three four and then it will go down till thirteen thousand. so we can see that going forward but as of now again i'll uh, stick to my view one is till nineteen thousand, or maybe we can touch sixteen thousand five hundred. it depends on this level so as of now this low is still intact one seven one four three and we closed above this level so we can see a sharp bounce uh, if I go again to indicators and if I try to draw moving average, if I try to draw moving average, uh, just a moment. Uh, let me draw 20 days moving average. The level which is coming, let me try to draw a horizontal line. So the, the level which is coming is somewhere around 19,157. And then if you see, it is coinciding with drop base drop drop and this is my supply zone so uh, there are high chances that we can go back and then again we may see a new low right so this was my view i'm expecting a bounce till 19,000. if we are not closing below one nine oh uh, sorry one seven one four three if you are not closing below that level we should make uh, again a high till 19,000 and then again heads see ultimately i'm expecting bank nifty to go till thirteen thousand levels i'm expecting nifty to go till six thousand eight hundred so i will also analyze nifty based on alert wave uh, i'm expecting nifty to touch six thousand eight hundred so earlier i had uh, mentioned that uh, we can see uh, six nine thousand six hundred or max ten thousand so if you see again the same candle on nifty also there was the same candle it was an exhaustion candle and then the next day we had like 400 to 500 points of gap down. So same was for Bank Nifty. And uh, let's see uh, going forward in case if we are breaking this low, I will again uh, create a new video. But then as of now, let's stick to two points. One is if you are closing about this, we should touch 19,000. If you are closing below this, we should see another 600 points of uh, fall, 500, 600 point, points of fall. And then we may again go on the upside we can also do you know lower low and there might be a rsi divergence so let's see uh, going forward i will uh, update you on this thank you so much for watching this video